I have cared and managed children with special needs such as autism, ADHD, and other behavioral and learning disabilities. Also children with speech and language disorders. Welcome to my channel. My name is George Lane. I am a cognitive behavioral therapist, a mother, and a teacher by profession. Someone asks, why can't he speak like other kids? Well, it could be as a result of one of these problems or disorders in children. However, do not compare your child with any other child. Children are unique and different. No matter their challenges, no matter their conditions, please love your child and seek the right help or treatment for whatever condition he or she has. There are several communication and speech development disorders in children, which can be as a result of uh, neurodevelopmental disorders, functional environmental factors. In this video, I am sharing with you several speech and language developmental disorders that can be managed or treated with speech therapy. In my previous video, if you haven't seen it, I talked about activities that can help improve speech and language therapy in your child. If you have a child that has speech delay or other speech and language problems, please consider to watch this video to the end. Speech disorders begin in childhood and improve with age. Why others continue to adulthood and require long-term therapy and maintenance? Also, the amount of time a person needs for speech therapy depends on a few factors such as the age, that is why early intervention is the key. It also depends on the medical condition, type of speech disorder this child has, then the frequency of the therapy sessions. Now, what is speech therapy? Speech therapy is what the assessment and the management of speech and language uh, developmental disorders that affect communication in children even adults. However, when detected early in children, it can be properly managed or treated. Here are several speech and language developmental disorders that can be identified early in children. 1. Fluency disorders. Fluency disorders affect the flow, the speed, and the rhythm of speech. Stuttering is an example of this disorder. A child with stuttering often speaks very fast and merges words together. Resonance disorder is often associated with cleft palate. Children with cleft palate, this disorder alters what the vibration responsible for voice quality in the child's mouth. Three, articulation disorders. Articulation disorders affect what? The ability of a child to ascertain certain words, sounds, example, this, tit. R, certain sounds, R, S, T, uh, G, okay? Four, receptive disorders. Receptive disorder affects the ability of a child to understand what you say, to understand information or instructions, directions, from someone else. Most times, kids with this condition shy away or are not interested in what conversation with someone else. It affects children with autism or hearing loss. Receptive disorder. So this affects a child's comprehension of what conversation and other information from people. They have trouble following directions and instructions. 
and they are uninterested in speaking or listening to you speak. Expressive disorders. This is when a child has trouble making accurate sentences to express information or feelings. It's associated with developmental impairment such as Down syndrome, autism, and hearing loss. Six, cognitive communication disorders. Cognitive communication disorders is a disorder that makes communication difficult because of an injury in the brain that controls the ability to think. Speech therapy usually begins with assessment of this condition. Afterwards, the best management or treatment for these disorders in childhood. Note that early intervention is the best. Early intervention helps the child as well as who? The parents. You may ask for your child, speech therapy may take place anywhere, anytime. It could be in small groups or one on one. Okay? Now, speech therapy, depending on the speech disorder, it helps children interact properly. Speech therapy enables a child to model the correct sounds and syllables at the appropriate age. It also, it's important to give speech therapy to help that child express his or her feelings and avoid what fear, anxiety, or stigmatization in future. What is the success rate of speech therapy? Speech therapy for young children has been shown to be successful when started early and practiced at home with the involvement of a parent or caregiver, as well as a speech therapist or a speech pathologist. Speech therapy can improve communication, behavior, it can boost self-confidence in your child and as well give you peace of mind. Disorders begin in childhood and improve with age. Why others continue to adulthood and require long-term therapy and maintenance? Also, the amount of time a person needs for speech therapy depends on a few factors such as the age, that is why early intervention is the key, it also depends on the medical condition, also the type of speech disorder this child has, then the frequency of the therapy sessions. Thank you for watching. Till I come your way next time. I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe and share for more educative videos, general knowledge.